Now, at least 45 people have been killed in a car bomb in the Pakistani port city of Karachi. Dozens of others were wounded in two explosions in a Shia-dominated part of the city. No one's yet admitted carrying out the attack, but it does come just a week after a bomb blast in the southwestern city of Quetta killed almost 90 people. Chaos and carnage after a deadly attack targeting Shia Muslims. The first blast, which occurred shortly after evening prayers, was so powerful it was heard kilometers away. Locals say it was this vehicle which carried the roughly 150 kilograms of explosive material which caused such death and destruction in this residential neighborhood. The nature of the second blast remained unclear, with police officials speculating that it might have been caused by a nearby gas cylinder. Whatever the case, the scale of destruction is enormous. Two apartment blocks in the heavily populated, mainly Shia Abbas town area, were completely gutted. <laughs> Junaid Ali's home was all but destroyed. When I got here, all I saw were dead bodies, burned beyond recognition. Everything I had is now gone. No one has claimed responsibility, but police suspect Sunni Muslim militants. The bomb went off in a Shia Muslim neighborhood. The minority group has been the target of frequent sectarian attacks from Sunni militants. Reports say such attacks killed more than 400 people last year and nearly 200 in the first two months of this year. There was chaos everywhere when this blast took place. People started running here and there. I saw the buildings being destroyed and people were dead. This is a brutal act. Those who carried it out and took away the lives of people are not human beings, but devils.